Hi guys, welcome to Total Technic. Today we're going to be showing you how to remove the sun visor clip uh, for the Audi A6, S6 or RS6 uh, for the C5 models. And these can be an absolute demon on the, uh, the C5 platform, which is obviously what we're working on today. These can be a nightmare. Uh, but if you know what you're doing, uh, which is what we're going to show you how they come out now, uh, it is possible to get these out uh, without damaging either the clip uh, or, more importantly, your headlining. Uh, but do bear in mind, these are very tricky to get out. Okay, so let's take a quick look at one of these clips uh, so we can better understand what's holding these in. Uh, like I said, these can be little uh, little devils, uh, but let's take a, a quick look at the kind of way that these are held in to sit you. These are different to lots of the other um, sun visor clips you'll find in different uh, models of Audi. These can be a, a bit of a pain. Uh, basically, you've got a square uh, kind of hole in the um, in the roof of the uh, of the car, and uh, that fits around these little clips. And as you can see, you've got two kind of barbed uh, clips, and uh, they do compress. Uh, from the sides, which is what, which is the kind of key to uh, to getting this out, you've got to attack it from the sides, compress the one side to allow the other side just enough room to pop out. Because if you don't, it, you know they're they're both trapped in evenly on both sides. So if you're just pulling it straight or attacking the front edge and lifting in this manner, it's literally going to go nowhere. Which is probably some of the other struggles that you've already had with the. Uh, with this uh, little demon, uh, but we're going to uh, we're going to get it removed now. Uh, the other thing I'll show you quickly is the uh, is the the hole um, that this snaps into, and then we'll actually uh, have a go at getting one of these removed. So here is the hole that the uh, the clip fits into. So like I say, it's a square hole that literally goes up into there and snaps into place. So you can see those two barbed arms. One's going to snap into the left side, one on the right side when that's pushed up. So that's uh, that's how the whole thing goes together. So first things first, you really want to do this with a plastic uh, trim tool such as the one that I'm going to be using here rather than a metal screwdriver. You may well have already looked around on YouTube and found uh, videos of people uh, removing similar clips from other models of cars and they're all up in there with metal screwdrivers which is obviously going to uh, pummel, pummel the, uh, the heck out of your headline and likely to do damage. Uh, these can be bought very inexpensively on, on eBay. You, know, you can buy cheap sets of these for, you know, three pounds delivered, which is like five dollars, and they're really, really useful if you're doing any internal work on any of the trims on your car. So if you've got one, use a proper trim tool. If you haven't got one and all you have got is a, a screwdriver and you need to do the job quickly, then wrap the screwdriver in some electrical tape. Uh, again, that will just help, um, a few layers of uh, electrical tape will just help soften the, uh, the, the metal a little bit. It's not as good as one of these, uh, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so that's it. So the first thing we're going to do is focus on the uh, the cover first. We need to get that cover removed. So let's do that. So the cover pops off quite simply. Uh, if you just slide the uh, the trim tool down the uh, front edge. Oops, there he goes. He's shot off. I'll just uh, grab that and show you guys. Okay, so looking on the uh, the inside there. You can see it's got two sets of kind of little barbed uh, plastic tabs that literally just kind of slips on and snaps into place. So that's all that's holding holding it uh, in place. So that part's very easy to get out. The next part, which is what we're facing up here, is not so much fun. But let's give it a try. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the trim tool and we're going to put it in on the side and we're going to be attacking it from the uh, from the side. So you're attacking it from kind of the, the door side of the car, if you like. So obviously you've got a bit more space. You've got this kind of moulding uh, where the uh, reading light is and you're not going to be able to get in there very effectively. Whereas here you can get under there because it's nice and flat. So that's the side uh, that we're going to be attacking. Close. So what I'm trying to do is kind of lift it a little bit, get the uh, trim tool in yeah, as deep as I can behind it, and then use the trim tool. Okay, there it is. So like I said, uh, they can be an absolute pain uh, to get these removed, uh, but with a little bit of... Um, you know, a, bit, a little bit of a wrestle, uh, it can be done. As you can see, the clip's not damaged and the roof lining is not damaged. So that's a successful uh, removal there. Uh, but just kind of take your time with it. Uh, to remember what you're trying to do is get kind of uh, up in there 
and you're kind of compressing the, the one side and trying to kind of get the uh, the tool into the, the other side. So I'll give you a quick illustration of that. So essentially what it is that you're trying to do is obviously you're going to push this up inside the headlining and you want to try and get it in really, really deep. And then you want to be trying to push this inward to try and bend that a little bit. And that will kind of free it just enough if you're pulling it at the same time to uh, see how that bends in there just enough to uh, to pop it out like I say it's not a lot of fun and uh, you know it, it might take you 10 minutes uh, of uh, wrestling to get this first one out uh, but do bear with it uh, you will get it out but that's how you do it so that is your uh, clip successfully removed